Hey, what is up YouTube guys? It's time to hunt a box of nickels. Let's go ahead and open this up and see if it's circulated. Oops. Not one. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Let's see if these are circulated. No circulated. Please be circulated. That looks circulated to me. And it's gross. Let's look at some more. Definitely circulated. That's awesome. So let's look for some enders. I'll flip them up so we can see them. All right. So I just took them from this box and put them in one of these boxes. These are a little bit easier to handle. Uh, on this side, I don't see any enders particularly. Uh, I do see a couple that look kind of older. So I think it might be a good box. Uh, I'll flip them one more time and we'll check them on the other side. Any better? I don't see any enders I do see this one looks a little corroded right there so let's go ahead and get ripping guys look at this I'm only about I don't know maybe let me see I can tell you one two three four five six rolls in I just got a buffalo I actually have some other finds here I didn't want to bore you with a bunch of kind of boring dates they're all pretty common but look at that buffalo Buffalo, and I think we might get a date off this. I think I see something. I can't tell. Uh, it's gonna be old though, I bet. It, oh, it might be slick. Hold on. I I, I kind of had a feeling this was gonna be a good box. Oh, I think it's just gonna be slick. No, I can almost see something. It's a slicked out buffalo. That's still awesome. Uh, let's see if it's got a mint mark. Ooh, the, it looks like there's a mint mark. Let me put on my macros lens. Let's see if we can find any kind of details for the date. And uh, look, let's look real quick and see if there was anything else in this roll. I haven't even looked at anything else yet. That's awesome. This could be a really good box. Uh, I don't see anything else. So let me throw that macros lens on and we'll take a closer look at this. All right, I got the macros lens on. I do know one thing. Uh, as you can see there, it is a Denver, Denver Mint right there, it looks like. I think that's a D. That could, could possibly be an S, but that looks like a D to me. Uh, let's take a peek around here. Pretty worn. This might be a really good candidate to, uh, to use the Nicodate on. Let's see if we can get any type of... No, there is nothing there. Not anything there to get it uh to give us any indication of uh when he was made still very very cool i love getting the buffaloes even if it's a slick uh so that's awesome i you know what i might try to get some nicodate and see if we can date this one this could be an early one all right also while i have the macros lens on let's take a look at the other ones i found so far i've got a 41 that is a philly then we have a 57, and that is a Denver. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's an RPM. I don't think so. Uh, the next one was a 56, and that was a Denver as well. Then we had, after that, we had a 41, and that one was a Philly. Ooh, it's got a big scratch there on Mon the Monticello building. And then the other one was a 1940. So out of six rolls, guys, we've already got a Buffalo and all of these oldies. Let's see what that is. That's a Denver as well. So we got a lot of good stuff already. That's why I'm thinking this is going to be a good box. Hopefully this will continue. All right, guys, just a quick update. Here's the ones that we've already found. There's our Buffalo and a little stack there. Uh, I've only opened a few more rolls, and look what all we have. I'm going to have to start doing these live. There's a 57, uh, 58, 47 in really nice shape. That thing looks pretty good. That's an S mint mark there, too. Uh, 47 and a 57. So we're getting quite a few. Let's do the rest of these rolls live, guys. Uh, I really feel like we're going to either get another buffalo or possibly some silver. We're all over in the 40s and 30s, so let's uh, let's do these live. There is a 59. So we're getting some stuff.
I just have a good feeling about this box. 19. Is that 1950? I got a 1950 right here. 1950. If this is a 1950 D, if that is a 1950 D, guys, that would be a key date. That would be pretty amazing. Uh, let me see if I have anything else, and then we'll check it. Ooh, we might have a key date. I've only ever found one. So let's see if we just got a 1950. Let me look at it real quick. It is definitely a 1950. If that has a D on it, we got a key date. It is a Philadelphia. All right, so it's not the key date. Oh my gosh, that was freaking me out. I really thought we might have a key date there. All right. This box went south real fast. Stop giving up stuff, guys. So I am almost done. We got about, uh, it looks like about eight rolls left. Ooh, what's this? I might have spoke too soon. There's a 1941. The 1941 right there. Nothing too crazy. Let's keep going. I'll show you everything at the end. One, two, three, four, five. So this, five more after this one. I really thought we were going to get some good stuff. Oh, what's that? No. 88. Looked one. Oh, there's a 40. Another 47. I've got quite a few 47s. So there's another 47. I'll show you at the end. 1960, that looks like a nice one for here it is look at all those we got a lot out of this box these are all 1940s these are all 1950s and then we got our two cool ones up here real quick I'm just gonna zoom through these real quick you can kind of see what they are there's a 41 41 they're not in any particular order 1940s there these are all 40s just common dates for everything these are all the 50s but check out this guys this is so cool the 1950 right there man I wish that had a D mint mark on the back side but it was a Philly still less than 10 million of these made uh, that's actually fairly low I think it's like 9 million something and then we have this dateless Buffalo oh man I wish we had a date on it but maybe this will give me a chance to do a Nick -a date video which would be kind of fun uh, we do know it is a D mint mark, so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll have a hard date to get there. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a rare one. That might be something fun to do, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, post your comments down below. We'll see you next time, and as always, happy hunting.